what we have started and we are running the race until the time that we're going to cast i am going to cast the next vision on august 30 2020 in fact long before my about ang august 30 2020 i already have casted the vision for for 2021 which is go beyond no that's our vision for 2020 2021 go beyond but going back to run the race the reason why i'm going i'm really stressing it out in order for for our for our business partner to understand that the the most important element or ingredient for success is not actually how good you can sell but the most important element of success is the kind of character and attitude that you can develop As a business, you because there is a very important conversation there. I want you to show every now and then. I want you to listen it very carefully. Number one, um, Robert actually talks about poverty mindset. It, it means that poverty is not about the actual scenario of a person, but it's it's a mindset. It's a mentality. There are people as to the basis of uh, human standard, but he belongs to a family who has a poor mentality. So, meaning poverty is not about kwarta or wala, but it's about mentality. So, there are a lot of poor mentality. Okay, I'm going to give you one on sana ang poor mentality. Kanang word na, I can't afford it. I can't do it. No, gani yan. Give a phrase, no? Dapat unta daw ang ato ang tubag is not I can't afford it, but how can I afford it? Kung ingon daw ka o I can't afford it, it a statement that blocks the opportunity. Kung daw ka mangita kag pamaagi for you to be able to afford this and do something Okay. Now, I hope you're listening and concentrating, no? Because this is very important. This is this is what what I'm what I'm pointing at. There are a lot of people when you introduce them to the business, like our business, real estate business. When we introduce them, and we go and, and if we're going to give them tools in order to help them build their business, the first thing that pops in their mind, I wakui budget, I wakui kwarta. Look at here. When we introduce to you property 24, we introduce to you property 24 not for the reason that you you know what I don't make money with property 24. The wala komo kwarta for every subscription of property 24. The reason why we introduce that to you because it will be an alternative that you are going to make a sale. It's a tools. Pero unse 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 ato unse attitude sa sa agent. Ay wala koy kwarta. Dapat ang question unsa on ako pag afford ana, di ba? That's what Robert Kiyosaki said. I can't afford it. Because you don't think like a businessman. But if you think like a businessman, how can I afford it? afford? Ang problem sa poor mentality is this. Now listen carefully. No, listen carefully. The poor mentality, ang nakita niya, I'm talking about property 24, ha? Pero daghan pa man lain. Darao, ang poor mentality, ha? Ang subscription sa property 24, 1,300. Ang nakita sa poor mentality ang 1,300. Wala makita sa poor mentality ang iyahang posibleng incentive ng 40,000. You get my point? Ay, dili lang ko na sir job kaya di ko ka-afford. Ang iyang gitan ang 1,300. Wala niya gitan ang na makahalin siyang usa. Mas dako pa iyang incentive kaysa gibayad sa 1,300. You, you get my point? Because that is a poverty mindset. No, pardon me for my voice, ha. Because I am really passionate, but I really wanted to deliver the message. Na unta masabtan ba? Na this is a business that when you talk about business, you've got to do something that will improve your business. Look at Henry C. Because I can teach you whatever things you want you want to learn about how to make a sale, but not until your attitude and character is changed towards the business, nothing will happen. Na. Nothing, nothing greatly happened. You know what? What is my It's one percent skill. It's ninety-nine percent attitude. 
Success is 1% skill. It's 99% attitude. Ay, wala ko'y kwarta, 1-3, Sir Joe. Pero dili niya makita na kung makahalin siya kundo, ang iyahang intim, how much? 5,000, 10,000, ayun, nakita, 1-3. I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example. I don't know if Levy is here. Is Levy here? Oh, Levy is not here. Okay. Levy is from Toledo City. Now, Levy is a 18 years old working student. Okay. I meet the person there in Toledo City. Lisod, no? Hirap. May ngong yung ko. And based on stand, based on economic standing sa iyahang pamilya, lisod. Pero this guy, this man, which is a working working student, no self-supporting student, when you get to talk to him, no, if Levy one of these days na adrin nato, if you get to to talk to him, Kinesia will always ask. I will always tell you na sige lang Sergio, pangitaan ako pamaagi. Look at tada. Tanawa ang statement. When I first offer offer him property 24, ako ko iko bro, dili ko kamao ng website, but I can offer you property 24. It had help our agent, but siki can help yours. Kabalo ka unsay tubag niya? Sir Job, mangita kog pamaagi. Look at the answer. Help supporting breadwinner, not much of money, pero ang tubag is mangita kog pamaagi. Okay. To cut the story short, he availed of a subscription for property 24. Last April 8 or 12 months ago, he made a sale of around 800 plus thousand in Toledo. And he was able to receive an incentive of around 4,000 pesos. Now look at, not much money, nangitag pa maagi, invested 1,300 for property 24 subscription, and now was able to get 4,000 as an incentive. What may labot sa iyang komisyon? That is a rich mindset. That is not a property mindset. Now, I'm here right now attending the seminar. More than capable than Levi ba? But you know what? You know what's the difference? It's the mindset. It's always the mindset. Not until you break this mind, nothing, nothing will happen. That's the reason why I keep on putting up the video. I hope you're listening to it so that it will really register in your mind that it will always take to break this mind in order for you to have breakthroughs in life. In order to have breakthroughs in life. Okay? Let's go to the video of Henry. Everything of what Henry see, he was able to see something ahead of what is happening right now. Yeah, look at that. If you are watching the video, I hope you are. Almost all of the situation that Henry C. invested is on the moment that the Philippines is undergoing crisis. You hear me? Most of the time that Henry C. invested is in the moment that the Philippines is undergoing crisis. You know what happened today? Kung imo siya, imo siyang, imo siyang imbitaron ka ron o opportunity, kining ato ang mga agent ron, or o kanang ato mga prospect, o niya lang sa kumalihog, Sir Jeff, pwede lang sa kumuatin o webinar kay crisis, manggudron, wakoy pang load. Look at, look at the mentality. Look at the mentality. Henry C. built opportunity in the moment of crisis. Filipinos! just stuck themselves down in moment of crisis. That's the reason why, right after the crisis, and look at the Chinese, after the crisis, they have gone building their businesses already. Now, you, you get my point? The problem is not, not actually on... The, the, problem, the problem actually is not on the opportunity. The problem actually is in the mindset of the people. Diyan tayo medyo may mali. Because our sets of mind thinks totally different from those people. That's the reason why the rich gets richer and the poorer gets poorer. 
And that's exactly how the Filipino has been pictured out. Na, na, nakita nyo? Almost all of the businesses of Henry C. was started to sprout in the middle of crisis. In fact, pagtukod niya sa SM uh, Mall of Asia, na kapili sa usa ka lugar na swamp area, ang uban nag ingon pa na kani mauna yun ni sinugdanan sa downfall ni Henry C. Nga nung nipalit siya anang yutaan na kanang swamp area man. Pero ang wala nila mahuna-huna, si Henry C. maoy na ay, na, na ay nakita na wala nila makita. Now the question here is this. What is it the things that you saw or what you see in life? Because it will always be... You know what? Big big magsigitag tudlo sa ang Facebook marketing, Instagram marketing. We can we can we can have all that but not until not until your mind is changed. Your attitude and character is changed towards success, nothing will happen. Mangugat na lang ang speak bisan pag bisan pag magdala ko diri og IT expert. Bisan pag magdala ko diri IT expert that will teach you. You know what? There are a lot of people, believe me, there are a lot of people that are good in computers but never was able to build a business. You know, man, because they're just good in making, they're just, they're just techno technologically driven. Kamao lang siya dito sa mga pasikot-sikot sa computer, but the mindset is quite different. So on some day, what, what it takes for the person to really be able to succeed in life is this one. It's between your two ears. It's your mindset. Parehanyo. I can have all the skill. For example, I can, I will be the the master of Facebook marketing. For example, ako, I will be the master of Facebook marketing. But without the without the proper mindset, I can't I cannot still accomplish anything. Ano man? Because I will always be short-sighted. I will always be short-sighted. So that's the reason why I let you see the video because I want you to expand your horizon. Go beyond of what you are seeing right now. There are so much opportunity right now, right at the middle of crisis. But think the Ghana is opportunity. Everybody is is really developing opportunities right now, and don't be left behind. Days ago, si si Maribit Oya was able to make a sale. Sa um, was able to make a sale. Last week, uh, Milona from from Butuan was able to make a sale. I mean, how come? How come they're making those sales? Where in fact we are, we are of the same scenario. Probably you need to ask the question: Am I doing the business in spite of the crisis, or nothing at all? Possibly, man said, na karon sa panahon sa crisis, wala sa kagibuhat, gasigil lang sa ka o higda, bangon, ligo, kaon, higda na said. Di ba? Because to be honest with you, it always boils down to what you will do today. Kung mangutan na ka, nganong nakahalin man to si Melin, man to si Levy, nganong nakahalin man to si Meribit Oyao, nganong man. Because look at their Facebook wall. If you, if, you, if, you might, if you can visit them. Look at their Facebook wall. Meaning they're doing something amidst the yeah. crisis. Question, are, are you doing something amidst Meets the crisis because no one can do it for you. You can do it for you, in short. No, at the end of the day, it's gonna be a battle between what you will do and what you will not do. And character, as I have said, in PPI, what I believe in terms of training, it's all about. 1% skill and 99% attitude and character. Meaning, people succeed here not because they are really damn good, but they succeed here because they have the kind of character, right mindset, why they succeed. I've seen it in our consultants because it will always be here. Guys, it will always be here. No? With the kind of mindset, if you have the right mindset, what you will do? Kung nakai saktong mindset, kugihan ka. Kung sakto imong mindset, dinado ka. Kung sakto imong mindset, if you don't have the information, you will find way. Di ba? Initiative. So may tawagan na initiative. If you wanted to learn about real estate industry, you will. 
Ano sabi mo ba? You will attend PKS. You will attend seminar. You will you will learn it from you in your own spare time. Ngano man? Because that is what is what we, uh, that is what we call initiative, di ba? Pero if you don't have that if you don't have that character and attitude, what you will do is that you will just do nothing. You will be complacent. Nya ang imuhang timsong sa imong kinabuhi ana, dara imong timsong sa imong kinabuhi. Kesera, sera. Whatever will be, will be. I I hate that song. I hate that song. Because that is the song for lazy people. That is a song for lazy people. Can you imagine? Kesera, sana. Oh, saan ta man? Pobre man. Pobre na yun. Ingon ani man. Ingon ani na yun. That's a loser's mindset. That is a loser. We are winners. And always remember, winning will always begin in here. If you wanted to make a sale, it will not begin by posting. It will begin here. Again, huh? If you wanted to make a sale, kung gusto ka makahalin sa real estate, it will not begin by posting in Facebook, but it will begin in here. It will begin in the way you think, the way you act, the way you move, the way you prepare. It will always begin in here. It will always begin in the mind. So what your mind is telling you, that is your outcome. Is your mind? If your mind is telling you that you can make a sale, then you will make a sale. If your mind is telling you that you can make a sale, then it will tell you na magkugi ka, Jof. Di ba? Kung ang imong mind, ingon siya na dapat muhalin ka, ang imong buhaton, mag-post ka. Kinsan mo diktara na, your mind will dictate you na, oy, mata na dyan, pag-post. Your mind will dictate, your mind is powerful, my friends. Be They are so powerful that it will change the outlook in life and the perspective in life. It is so powerful that it can even neglect pain. Mind is so powerful. Again, huh? Mind is so powerful that it can even neglect pain. That's the reason why a lot of people became successful because they have conditioned their mind to think beyond what they can see right now. The problem. This is our problem. Our action is dictated by the current crisis we have. Because kay dili mang kamakagawas, tungod kay dili mang kamakatripping, ang imo lang pong ibutang sunahon na, di lang sang kumagpos, di bagya pong kumakatripping. What a kind of mindset is that? Tanawa ha? This morning, I was talking to one of our agents in in Toledo. I'm, uh, I don't know if, if she's here, but I'm not going to mention her name. Uh, we were talking around 10 o'clock in the morning. Okay, actually, I woke up at six and started to really do the the things. And this is this is what happened in our conversation. On the course of our conversation, na say statement. Dilit lang sa kung magpost or Jeff, eh? Kaya mawala maghapon, wala ko mahimo, kaya di mako katripping. Nang lado ko, nang lado ko. Ang kapastilan ako ang ning tapik ko niya. Di lang sa kuno siya mag-post kay bawat gihapon di siya katripping. Question. Do you have that kind of mindset? Dili lang sa ka mag-post kay nga naman di ka katripping. Di lang sa ko mag-post kay di ko katripping. Pa-realize so na ko ta mo friends just in case ba wa pa mo ka-realize. Ini guman aning ato ang quarantine. Kita tanan mamayad sa to ang mga utang. Timan eh, ni Goma na to aning atong quarantine, dili mawala atong mga bayranan. Abi karon, kung wala kay buhaton karon, moingon lang ka sa imong giutanga na Brad, quarantine man gud ato nang aging buwan, dilan sa komo bayad ni Moron, nagtuo kag di ka padilngon. Ah, dagiti testing og adto og Miko. Testing og adto og Miko. O ni Goma na to ani rong buwana. Ni Goma na tong buwana niya, gi-extend man ko na atong, extend man ko na ni atong quarantine, sige. Ini kahuman ani tanan adto sa Miko ingnang Miko na nag quarantine man ta boss niya dilan sa kumubayad og quarantine mo ingon nasa na siya okay lang putlan ra sa tikaw Moana rasa na sila So that's exactly what I'm telling you Always remember as what Henry C is doing 
Kabalo ka nga nung every crisis na ay mataw, na ay negosyo mahitabo sa si Henry C. Because every crisis, ang unahuna ni Henry C., wala maglihok ang tanan, ako ra isa ang galihok, mauni ang panahon na mo, plus star ko sa kong negosyo para inigkahuman ang crisis tanan, ako ra na ay negosyo ang pagbarog. Tanawa, paghuman sa crisis, sa, sa global economic crisis atong 1996, unsay nahitabo, si, si Henry C. Ray Dunay Mall of Asia, nagbarog. Paghuman sa 1986 EDSA Revolution, katong ipakita example, 1985, 1986, Giingnan pa siya ng patay. Mauna ni ang downfall ni Henry C. Nga nung katakag invest na karong panahon na wala, crisis, gubot ang kalibutan, naglinog pa. Pero at the mind of Henry C. Tawa si Henry C. Ingon si Henry C. Ini. <laughs> ang mga Pilipino at tanga kayo. Naghigda-higda lang. Wala ang gibuhag. Kasi gigkaon. Ngayon si Nahitabo. Pag human sa Edsa Revolution, siya rin doon ay negosyo. Na question, if you're not going to do something today, kinsa, kinsa may, kinsa may mag, mag, magkatawa, katong doon ay gibuhat karon karon na quarantine period. Winners sirs, will always find a lot of excuses. Doesn't find excuses. Wana si Rasul. Pero ang losers, they will always have excuses not to do it. So it's all up to you, no? It's all up to you, and it's you at the end of the day that we're going to decide whether all of us we're gonna be doing this or not. Because as I've shared to you, as ako pangingon sa inyo tanan. Since the day na nag-quarantine ta from March 14, never was a day that I wasn't doing the business. And all of you that are regularly attending knows that every single day, every single day since March 14. Kabalo mo nga, no? Because ang gusto na ako, makabuild mo sa inyohang business by the time when everyone is doing nothing. All I ever wanted is for you to form your business and form your group While everyone is doing nothing, so that when the quarantine stops, you already have a team that you can work on. Na mo team ba na imo inyo inyo ka work on right after mahuman ta aning quarantine. Pero kung magsugod ka inighuman pa aning quarantine, well, I will be frank with you. That's gonna be too late because. Nagsugod na ang tanan na itong mga problema na bayranan, mandaghan man, 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 ang bayranan, ang katong mga atong gipang utangan, musugod na sa silang paningil, na timaan eh, katong atong mga gipang utangan, mas kusog pa ito sa alas 4, muadtos balay, kay gana, nag-apa sa itong makakwarta sila, kay wa sa itong kwarta. That's exactly how it's gonna be. And whether you like it or not, that's gonna be the challenge that you and I We're gonna be facing. So now is the time that all of us should be really be building. We should be building the business. Don't give excuses. Excuses like hina yung internet. That's not an excuse. You can always find way. Kung hina yung globe, then go to smart. Kung hina yung smart, go to globe. Hina yung magugkay yung globe. Dere na na mo Sir Jeff. Di ako namunta na na de na globe ra yun yung cellphone, yung number or na kay smart. Naman sa kuya smart Sir Sir Jeff. Or di ludi na yung smart. Kusog, kusog man kayo yung smart nyo, ha? Tara ba? It's always about excuses. It's always about like that. We're not gonna move forward if we're gonna be a lot, if, there, if we're gonna make a lot of excuses. Sa kengong panako, our fundamental of teaching is 1% skill. It's 99% attitude and character. That's why we spend so much in building everyone's attitude and everyone's character because once ma-build na to ang proper character and proper attitude and proper mindset, believe me guys, it is easy to sell real estate. Real estate is the easiest, uh, is a, is the easiest product to sell. Lis lisod pa ng insurance, matagbaw pa kang drawing-drawing, hindi drawing, mo makita. Pero real estate is the easy to sell. It's the easiest product to sell, real estate, believe me.
ang elementra na adiha sa real estate no is just you just have to be diligent and smart mortgage no diligent and smart okay now what i'll be what i what i will be presenting to you this afternoon is actually about facebook marketing and i know you know it already no i know you know it already but what is my encouragement with facebook marketing is that number one you've got to invest in facebook marketing that's the only way you've got to invest later on i'll show you uh, how are how are we going to do that but you've got to invest because business always requires investment no businesses that doesn't require investment if you wanted if you wanted to make money then you've got to understand how money works and and money produces money money is not produced out from hanging no? Always remember ba, ang money is not produced out from hanging. There will always be an investment taken there. Okay? So, there's a video that I would like to show you that marketing. Then, later on, we're going to actualize uh, Facebook marketing. Okay? Facebook ads. Uh, I'll show you how post ads, boost ads. Okay? So... Anyway. I'll be sharing my top 10 Facebook marketing tips for businesses and brands. Whether you're just starting out on Facebook or you're a seasoned expert, I have something for everyone today. These tips have directly helped us increase our fan growth by more than 150% and engagement by 350% on Facebook in just one year. Yes, that is absolutely possible even with how crowded Facebook is today and all the content that's being shared. So how does that sound to you? Let's get started. All right, kicking it off with my number one tip for businesses and marketers, and that's Facebook is the platform, content is where the magic truly happens. So sometimes it's easy to focus on the fact that organic reach has declined, and we can blame that on the algorithm, or the fact that advertising has increased exponentially over the last few years, or that brands and marketers are posting more content than ever before. We also talk about how Facebook is making us pay to play, right? So we have to pay in order to increase our reach and increase our content being seen. The truth is, even though there is a ton of content being posted to Facebook every single day, there's not a ton of truly good content. And that's what I mean by content is where the magic happens. So that's what we need to focus on as brands and marketers. There's not a ton of truly good content. And if we focus on a niche and a subset of the 2 billion users on Facebook and provide great content that's useful for them and entertaining for them, we truly have an opportunity to carve out a great little space for our brand on Facebook. So what does that look like? That's gonna look percent of our time and our focus on social media, creating content centered around driving engagement and traffic to our blog. I'm sure you as businesses have something similar. What would you like to achieve on social media? Remember that 90% of your time should be spent creating the content and then the other 10% is actually posting that content. So it's a very small subset. If you create that extra energy and that extra effort behind your content, understanding what your audience likes, and I promise you, your content will succeed at a higher level on Facebook. My number two tip for those looking to excel with Facebook marketing is of course video. Lots of focus over the last couple of years has been placed on video. We've seen it from Mark Zuckerberg, essentially saying that video is the future of social media. We've seen it in their algorithm, video being placed at the top of people's news feeds. We've seen people being rewarded for going live a lot. So really there is a focus on Facebook from the top on video. At Buffer, we've seen a ton of success with video marketing. Some of our videos have reached up to 500,000 people and had a few hundred thousand views. And I have no doubt that you as a marketer can make the same type of quality videos with the, maybe the small amount of resources or small team that you have. Just for a little bit of context, I make the videos here at Buffer and I also wear multiple hats here at the company as well, which I know a lot of you can relate to. So I'm gonna give you a few quick tips on how you can efficiently create great videos for your Facebook page. Number one is to remember not to be salesy with your videos or really product or sales focused. It's important to use video as a brand awareness tool at the top of the funnel. That's what people are engaging with on Facebook and it's a really great gateway for you to reach new audience members. 
Number two with video, very technical. Remember to keep your videos at 120 seconds, so two minutes or less. BuzzFeed actually ran a huge study studying more than 100 million videos on Facebook. And what they found is that the top performing videos were between 60 and 90 seconds, and that captions explaining the videos were only between 50 and 100 characters. And last but not least, when it comes to video, remember that 92% of Facebook users are actually using Facebook on their mobile device meaning people are scrolling quickly through their feed, they have very short attention spans, and they might be distracted by other things going on around them. So that means keep your video short to the point and save the best for first. Studies have shown that you have only about eight seconds to capture someone's attention and keep them around to watch your whole video. My number three tip for Facebook marketing, and this drove a ton of engagement and growth for our page last year, and that's sharing curated content. One of the questions and concerns that a lot of people share with us through Buffer is that they just don't have enough time or energy to dedicate to really seeing social media through. Well, one of the best ways to supplement always having to create new content over and over every single day for social is to make sure that you're posting curated content from other top reputable sources within your industry. And I think it's that part that's super key for brands and marketers to remember is that it doesn't completely replace your own content strategy within your company. It simply supplements it to help you have a consistent voice and brand posting to social media. The truth is, if we're only posting about ourselves, our own products, our own blog updates, our own information, people will start to tune that out after a while. But with curated content, you have the opportunity not only to develop yourself as a thought leader within your industry, but also build relationships with the people's content that you're sharing. That's the beauty of curated content. If I actually take a look at the stats from Buffer within our Facebook page analytics, it's very clear that curated content has performed very well over the last year. In fact, if I sort our top performing content within our Facebook page analytics, it's clear that six out of 10 of the top posts we've ever posted are pieces of curated content. And so that's really important to remember is that not only does it supplement the content strategy you already have in place, but it actually can be some of your top performing content. Of course, one of the questions that goes along with curated content is, well, how does that drive traffic back to my site? Or how does that drive sales? And my answer there is, it's not necessarily going to drive traffic or sales, and that's okay. Not everything you post to social media should drive traffic or sales. A lot of the social media success we see with big brands comes because of brand awareness and building relationships with your audience. So just a quick recap, content curation does not replace your content strategy, but it does help to provide a never ending supply of great content. Sort of in the same light as curated content, our number four tip for Facebook marketing is to repurpose and reshare your top performing content. I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions about this one, but it is okay to share and reshare content across Facebook. Again, if I take a look at top publishers and top brands on Facebook and what they're doing with their Facebook strategy, one thing that's very apparent is they are resharing top posts that have performed well on their Facebook page. To help put this in perspective a little bit, if you take a look at the actual data, only about two to 5% of your audience are actually gonna see any given piece of content that you post to your page, two to 5%. That means 95 to 98% of your audience isn't seeing your content at all. So there's really no harm in resharing content to Facebook. And personally at Buffer, when I've reshared our content, it's performed just as well, if not better, as the first time we shared it. Now the one rule of thumb to resharing content to Facebook is try to wait three weeks to about a month before you reshare a certain piece of content on Facebook. And the whole point of resharing content to Facebook is to save time and resources. I know how challenging it can be to consistently put out brand new pieces of content to Facebook. Ideally, you'll have a never ending supply of great content that you can post to your page. And when done in tandem with curated content, that only becomes more true. All right, diving into some more fun Facebook marketing tactics. And this one's a specific tool you can use and that's Facebook pages to watch. You probably heard me talk about Facebook pages to watch in the past. We have more videos about it on our YouTube page, but it truly is one of the most powerful tools you can use to create great social media content and also set goals and benchmarks. Just a quick note for Facebook pages to watch is that you do have to be a Facebook page manager and have access to your insights. And number two, you do have to have 75 or more likes to your page to get access to this awesome feature. Anyways, back to what I was talking about. Once you have Facebook pages to watch and access to Facebook pages to watch, you can actually watch up to 100 pages. This could be your competitors, your peers, inspirational pages that you love. Heck, you can put any sort of page you want as long as it's a registered Facebook page into Facebook pages to watch. Once you have an awesome list of let's say 25 to 50 pages that you can find inspiration from every day to guide your own Facebook strategy, 
it's time to figure out the best ways to use that tool. I recommend using Facebook pages to watch in three super unique ways. Number one is to set goals and benchmarks with Facebook pages to watch. As you can see here within the tool, Facebook pages to watch provides a host of amazing analytics about your peers and competitors that you can use to set your own goals and benchmarks. So you can use this to set audience engagement goals or audience growth goals, or maybe you have some other goals based around the statistics you see here in Facebook pages to watch. Number two, use Facebook pages. seven days. That is mind blowing. They're essentially giving you a playbook for what's successful for other brands in your industry on Facebook. And the cool part is, as you can see here, Facebook actually ranks the post by most engaging over the previous week. We've tried this strategy hundreds of times on our Facebook page and it works 90 to 95% of the time. And last but not least, you can use Facebook pages to watch to find and get inspiration for your own content on Facebook. One of the things that's hardest for me and I don't know about you, but it's creating original ideas on a consistent basis. Sometimes we all just need a little inspiration. Facebook Pages to Watch is the perfect tool to follow inspirational brand accounts that you can derive amazing ideas from, turn them into your own, and then post them to your own Facebook page. The key is not to copy their ideas, but to simply find inspiration for things that you might be able to relate to your own brand. I promise you that you will never go back once you discover the power of Facebook pages to watch. Speaking of exciting and emerging platform tools for Facebook, it's Facebook Messenger. Facebook Messenger is one of the hottest topics right now on social media. Lots of brands and publishers are using it to connect with their audience in new ways. And there are tons of ways that you as marketers and brands can use Messenger to help amplify your social media and your Facebook efforts. First, if you're thinking about getting into Facebook Messenger, there are a few tools or a few chat bots, if you will, that I might recommend. Number one is Many Chats, another one is Chat Fuel, and then last but not least is Botsify. Those three tools are some of the highest rated on the market, and I highly recommend that you check them out. Now, when talking about how to use Messenger and ways that marketers and brands should think about implementing Facebook Messenger into their overall social media strategy, the first thing that comes to mind is using Facebook to deliver content in new ways to your Facebook fans. And what's great is that there's a ton of ways that you can actually do this. You can have people opt in on your blog to receive the content via Facebook Messenger. I've seen brands and businesses create eBooks or studies or reports that they then deliver in bite-sized chunks via Messenger which is a great idea. You can create a super simple chat bot menu that allows people to pick and choose the type of content they wanna see. You can ask them a series of questions once they opt into your Facebook Messenger bot in order to handpick content that you think they might like based on their answers. It's just a really exciting time if you're a marketer and you're experimenting with Facebook Messenger because it is so novel and new and people are really engaging with it. Of course, if you don't have a huge Facebook audience or you're unsure about ways to get people to opt into your Messenger bot, there are some other options as well. Messenger ads offer a perfect opportunity for brands and marketers with either small Facebook pages or an unclear strategy to get people interested in their certain type of content to opt in, which is great because number one, it's very inexpensive to advertise on Messenger. And number two, click-through rates are extremely high because people are still shocked and awed by the fact that they're interacting with brands through Facebook Messenger. Now that's on the content side of things, but if we're talking the true power of Facebook Messenger, it also lies in customer service. You might've seen all of the features that they've released recently, allowing people to directly message your brand through Messenger. They also even have your business store hours when you first land on the page and how fast the company is likely to respond to someone and the percentage at which they respond to customers. So Facebook is creating this ecosystem of customer service and people are starting to expect it. In fact, I actually had a question for Facebook recently and their own customer support team was using Messenger. So if that's not a sign of how important Messenger is for customer service moving forward, I don't know what it is. Though not as talked about as much these days, our number seven tip for Facebook marketing are Facebook groups. Facebook groups are still a huge opportunity for brands and businesses to build a massive community around a specific topic or vertical. But a lot of times, Facebook groups are an untapped resource for business, number one, because they don't know how powerful they can be, or number two, they just don't have the time or resources dedicated to building a thriving community. And that's okay, because I have a few tips for getting started with Facebook groups today. 
Number one tip with Facebook groups is to start within a niche and build a small, highly dedicated, highly active community around that specific topic. In other words, don't try to be everything for everyone. Build your group around a topic that is very specific to serving customers' needs. What are their pain points? What do people ask you about your business on a regular basis? What are top questions on Quora in your industry? Those all make for great ideas for the topic for your Facebook group. Now, when starting a Facebook group, it will start out small, but the key is from the very beginning is don't use your Facebook group to sell your product. Your Facebook group should be centered around value, education, and usefulness. Believe it or not, the less you sell your product within your Facebook group, the more you're actually gonna sell your product. If you provide people useful, relevant content that helps to solve their challenges, that's how you're gonna get customers, not through talking about yourself all the time. And when it comes to building a successful Facebook group, you have to remember that it will take a lot of time and dedication to making sure that it's successful. Our number eight Facebook marketing tip is customer service on Facebook. Now we talked a minute ago about the importance of customer service with the use of Messenger. But I wanna talk about this topic one more time to hammer home just how important customer service can be for the success of your Facebook page. As I mentioned, Facebook itself is making customer service a priority for their brand as well. And they have 2 billion people to worry about in terms of queries and questions and concerns. As a smaller business, it's definitely manageable to set up a small customer service team dedicated to answering questions, comments, product feedback within the Facebook space. You'll wanna make sure first and foremost that you have all the details of your Facebook page filled out. What are your business hours? Are they accurate and up to date? What's your address? What's your phone number? How can people get in touch with you? And when you have the Facebook message feature turned on within settings, Facebook will provide potential customers and current customers with information about how fast you respond and then what are the, how often you respond, so a percentage, right? So it's a very important stat to keep up on your Facebook page. And believe it or not, just showing it's important Facebook rewards pages with a nice little green badge of very responsive when a company responds to more than 90% of people within a certain amount of time. So even something as small as that could be the difference of people staying and hanging and engaging on your page or just quickly leaving. And one more part about customer service on Facebook are reviews. Facebook has done a great job of placing reviews first and foremost on Facebook pages these days. And believe me, people are checking out the reviews when they go to your Facebook page. So one thing you can do is always comment to every single review that someone takes the time to leave on your page. If it's positive, great, give them a little love back. If it's negative, that's even more important for you to respond to. So again, bringing it home, every conversation that you have with a customer or potential customer is an opportunity to create a long lasting relationship. So are you ready to take your Facebook game to the next level? I know you are. Thanks a ton for joining me today. I'm always here to help answer questions or comments you might have. Feel free to drop me a line in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video today, I would greatly appreciate it if you subscribe to our page for more awesome videos like this in the future and give us a quick thumbs up below. Okay. I wish you the best now, of luck in your Facebook marketing okay. strategy. And now, primarily, um, let's get, let's, let me get up my, my Facebook. Okay, here. Primarily, if 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 you get to if you get to listen there, number one, um, Facebook is interactive. In fact, if na siya isa ka statement dito na always singi na balik balik is customer service. You've got to be quick and fast to respond. So there are important key elements dito sa Facebook marketing aside from the technology itself. Actually, is the one yung mention is uh, the messenger, no, the Facebook messenger in which it allows our our inquiries our client to have a, to have an instant interaction with us now the problem here is this most of our agents actually are engaged in facebook but they cannot reply immediately because of the reason uh, free data lang ko uh, have you always heard that reason sir dili ko ka send kay dili ko kakita sir kay free data lang ko uh, if that would gonna be kanang kanang rason na ingon ana nga free data lang ko that is a poverty mindset. Now, you are in business. You've got to think about it. Now, it is important that you're going to be very quick to respond. Now, and there are already cheap uh, data available right now. No? Gani, uh, pwede na ka maka-source out o mga, mga budget or mga combo data. So, isa na, you have to be, you have to be quick respond, in responding. Aside from the page, as that he was talking about groups, no? Now, uh, not all of us actually is, is exploring Facebook groups, no? Okay. Now, sakto to yang giingon. Now, you've got to find a community wherein you are going to thrive 
a very good atmosphere anak nga community anak nga anak nga Facebook groups. In fact, uh, I would highly suggest. No, I know you are posting in a lot of a lot of uh, Facebook groups, pero it would be best if you could create your own Facebook groups and try to add people out from there and develop that community na magkadaghan na siya nga community so that you will be the driving force of the communication ana nga ana nga Facebook group so you've got to find certain topics that you're gonna be discussing there from time to time that will find reasons na nganong ang tao magsigi og add dito og mga possible prospect or, cl or client so i again no uh, I, ko, for example there is a toa Ang uban kasagaran ga ga post lang dito sa Lapu-Lapu group, butuan by and sell, and that's good. That's, there's nothing wrong with that. I would also suggest that you can you just have to start your own also para makahinay kag sugod og imuhang Facebook group. But to that, so imuhan na siyang imong imong i-maintain, no? When when you when you will be posting on a certain groups, you will maintain maintain your presence. Let's say for example, I will take example si Melona for example. Now, Milona is from Butuan. So, adto na siya, permit na ko siya makitaan na mag-post adto sa Butuan by Ansel. Okay. Sige. Member si Milona diha sa Butuan by Ansel. So, ikaw, Milona, na makitaan ka sa komunidad diha sa Butuan by Ansel. Na kung makitaan ra ka nila diha na igo ra ka mo, mo post o balay, Ang, ang imong impact diha walay significance dili importante ba dili engaging so you've got to talk to the to the, to the people in the community kanang facebook group komunidad man na siya mura bitaw na siya og sige ari ka sa uh, for example sa uh, barangay baan no diha sa butuan sa barangay baan donay kapunungan sa kapilya para ikaw kay member man ka ng kapilya ha para mailhan ka ng kapilyaha, para makita sa sa membro ng kapilyaha ang imuhang importansya, dapat doon na kay buhaton anak ng komunidad, anak ng kapilya, para makita ang imuhang importansya. So, unsa may mong buhaton sa kapilya? So, siyempre, mo-attend ka o mga meeting sa kapilya, siguro manglimpyo ka sa kapilya, manilhig ka sa kapilya, o naagyo kay partisipasyon nga sa inyuhang kapilya. Mona para ma-notice ka na oy kanas Milona ba imuon ni na natong presidente sa Kapilya sunod uh, nga naman kinabantayan man kanila mausad na ang Facebook group ang Facebook group mura sa usa ka komunidad na kita tanan diha daghang tao wala magkailhanay pero ang challenge diha unsaon sa mga tao diha na mailhan ka so karon dapat na kay buhaton diha na para mailhan ka find something different so aside from you posting your your products dimong ibaligya you sell yourself, ikaw. So find something that you that you are going to do there. Siguro maghimo ka o uh, mag-post, makakarog video diha. Katungi ang gingon, inspirational. Siguro magbutang kag things that will inspire people diha. Or any contribution to the to the Facebook groups. No, anak nga, anak nga group. Possibly ba na diha sa anak nga groups, maghimo kag surveys. No, na in which people maka, maka, maka participate. Naman na sa Facebook group nga feature na maghimo tag Survey, okay. So, nindot kayo ni siya, no? Siguro sa Facebook group, pwede ka mag-survey diha kung kinsa to'y nanginahanglan o trabaho. Uh, nga naman, para target na, na sila na imuhang rekruton para may mong agent. Yan naman ay survey, naman ay survey button dito. Kana bitaw sa Facebook group nga poll, P-U-L-L, -L, uh, survey button man na siya. Okay? So, it's something that you can really explore in the Facebook groups. Okay? Then, ang uh, messenger is motto. No, uh, quick interaction. Okay, so let's see. Arita sa uh, na toning sa Facebook. Okay, here. Okay, so okay, ha. Huh? Now, usually, imama niya itong Facebook. Lahan ng pop-up sa day. Okay, let's go to atos ning close. Oh, this is all of you here. Uh, busy posting. Mamaya na, Willie Revilla me. Inay ako internet da. Okay, anyway. 
Um, let's open a page. I'm gonna show you something. Colony closed. Okay. I'm gonna show you something that um Arilantasako ang personal page. Sabi na kung personal page. Okay, here. Now, so, sa page, no, um, as you as you scroll down, now this is my personal page. Okay. Now here, na uh, makita ninyo na na katong dili kay familiar o uh, ako I would presume that everybody already knows how to make a Facebook page, ha? Uh, how to make a Facebook page, you just have to click here, create page, no? Na na direct create page. Asa naman tong create page? Oh, ay hey, manage page naman din, sorry. Ato ni sa account. Adara, ah, na create, dara create. Dara oh. Na, karon na naman sa gawas uh, here here but create so that's where you i would presume that every, all of you are creating page okay now when you boost let's say for example you boost a certain thing okay once you will you will put a post okay di makita no sorry ah hinay kayo sa ko ang move naman okay that's it now uh, for example, kini siyang a video that I that I did. For example, imo na siyang i-boost. Kini ra imo hang kini ra nga button ang imo hang i-pisliton actually. Kini boost post, no? So when you click that Okay. When you click that boost post. Sample ah, okay. Now you will be brought here at this anisang a page. Ini click ni mo atong boost. You will be brought here. Okay. Yeah, nakabutang dia ins insufficient permission to use video. Okay. Ilan to siya in mind. Now in here, na take a look at here on the left side. You will see here, no, na objective tanawa. Look at the objective. Get more people to watch or connect and chat with potential customer. Okay, this is maoni mo hang i click. Okay, ngano man, because ang imong objective is not people to just simply watch your posting. Ang imong objective is for the people to get engaged with you, to connect with you, ba, to contact you. So a lot of people actually na ingon sila na ako na sir nagboost naman ko pero wala mangyun ng inquire. Probably ang iyang pagboost iyara ng kinira ang iyang giklik, no? Kanang get more people to watch. <coughs> so definitely, wala ang yung engagement because ang iyang action taken are just to watch man. So make sure na you're going to click this one, connect and chat with potential customers. Okay. Now let's go down. Now there are two choices here. Tanawa. Messenger and WhatsApp business. Most likely... You're going to choose Messenger because that is the easiest interaction that we can have. Everybody, I mean practical, practically all of us, is much more easier and convenient to interact with Messenger rather than on WhatsApp. <coughs> Excuse me. But I would suggest you also download those applications. Kanang WhatsApp o kanang Viber. Kay mao man na ang most common communication outside of the country. So click the Messenger. Nga man. Because we want our interaction we want interaction coming from our audience. Okay. Now, going down, nakabutang dere, people you chose through targeting. Now, you can edit this one. Okay. Number one, 
The reason why you need to edit this one because you are going to analyze actually kung unsa ang imuhang potential market audience. Okay. Ang imong audience ba sa real estate, 18 years old ba ang imong potential buyers? So definitely it's not. Most likely you are going to target people that are actually the working class. So unsa man imong buhaton, you're going to change the age bracket. Probably siguro you start with 25 years old. Definitely, and 65 years old, dili man naman na siya maka-avail o housing loan. So definitely, you're going to make some few adjustments siguro, basig pwede pa until 55 years old. Kay manageable pa man na. Kining mga panahon na sad, ang tao na nasa na siya kwarta. Now, location does matter. Kung asa ni mo gusto na ang imuhang audience na itarget ka ng lugar. For example, in my case, I want to target it Central Visayas. So na ako diri. Central Visayas man eh. Pero, I can go down to the specific aning Central Visayas. Probably, I'm going to put down, I'm going to target people living from Minglanilia. Nga naman, because ang akong project na ibaligya from Minglanilia. No? So, meaning, I will have a concentration of people coming from Minglanilia. So, that's it. No? Gilingin niya. So, in that area, in this demographic area, Facebook will going to throw your ads sa mga tao na naaaning lugara. Okay? So, it is important that you are going to identify kung asa ni mo dapita ilabay ang imuhang ads. No, asa ni mo ilabay imuhang ads. Because every person have different objective man. For example, si Milona, nagpost siya og balay sa Butuan City. Alangan naman ang gihang target audience, uh, people that desires not to sa Cebu City. So, dili, good. At to ginya ibutang sa Butuan City in order to drive traffic for people that is interested to live in Butuan City. Next. Okay. Nah. Makita ni mo, tanawa ha? Potential audience size, nasa abos oh? Pila. That's 2 million people. Meaning, if I'm going to throw this ad sa anang lugar, there are potential 2 million people na makakita sa akong advertisement. Okay? Now, out of the 2 million people, dili man na siya tanahan maoy maogi makapture ni mo. Mao na siya potential audience lang. Potential audience meaning, pwede mo contact, pwede siya siya dili mo contact. Add to na ta magdaog sa ato ang ads na gibuhat na. So in here, tanaw mo, include people who match, no? Ad demographics, interest, or behavior. So, kung imo na siyang butangan, sige, unsa man, unsa man imong i-target, no? I-target ni mo katong people that are looking for condominium. Oh, minium. Oh. Si butang na nato, no? You, you target people that wanted to invest or looking for condominium. So, ibutang ni mo na diha. Oh, tanawa. Look at that. Out of the 2 million people, out of the 2 million people, there are potential audience of 160,000 people that are actually interested in finding a condo. Saan ang lugar? Nga naman, gibasa na ni Facebook ang mga tao na nangita o condo, anang lugar, anang dapita, anang pong idara. So karo, na-capture ni Facebook na sa kining akong gipili ng mga choices, doon ay 160 katao na potential na mag-inquire na ako. Gikan sa 2 million nga populasyon na makakita sa akong ad, karon akong ginaro down na analay 160 ka potential buyers no or potential inquiries, potential clients na ako ang i-engage. Okay, so, puta na to. Imo siyang isi. Okay, para you will be able to have a mark na kinisiya mo ni ang imuhang Gusto nga potential audience. Okay? Mone ang mga 20, eh, 25 to 55 years old ni mong uh, kuan. Now, Arita, here goes with our budget. Okay. Now, the budget no, will actually be determined by you. Okay. Now, ha? Din he, kung na ako'y 500 pesos niya 5 days, meaning... For every 100 day, for every 100 days, a uh, 100 pesos na ang kini 500 will be divided into five days. 
So nahog og mo gasto kog tag 100 pesos per day. Yeah? Uh, listen here. So kung imo siyang giset diha og 500, meaning every day mo gasto ko og 100. Pero kung ako siyang iset og for example, padak anak ko, ako siyang iset og 1000, every day mo gasto ko og 200 or 300 pesos depende sa akong giset. Kung ako sa siyang pamubuan, pwede sad. No? Are lang ko gusto akong kuan job minimum ni 40 man. Are lang ko anong 40 pesos a day. So within one week na ako'y gasto na buta na to 250 pesos lang, 50 pesos a day. Okay. Now, kana siya nga kana siya nga nga budget ikaw ang mo set ana. Uh, Tanawon lang gyud mo niyo duration niya kanos amo and ang date. Yeah, simple lang kayo, no? Ni goman ana work on the process then click aning boost okay kini kay wala man good si sulod uh, it has an insufficient fund so wala na ko sudli so in short my point here is that it is very practical if you are going to use facebook ads pero tarungon lang yun nimo tarungon lang yun nimo para sulit ang imuhang imuhang pag advertise sa facebook okay, okay. now this is my suggestion uh, as much as as much as there are a lot of analytics there, in which I am not really expert with that, and probably one of these days we can ask Sir John Paul to to help us in the analysis of the kanang uh, Facebook ads because I'm really not good about uh, kanang analysis with Facebook ads. Uh, I would suggest, ang ako naman personal na notice actually. Videos have more interactions. Um, primarily because ang tao karon have become more and more interactive. Now, number one, um, karon magod medyo lisod ba, no? If you could probably, I think Maribeth, uh, Maribeth Maranga is here, no? Ako na notice kini si Maribeth Maranga, maring firmin siya makahalin because every time there is a new project, ang yang ginabuhat ani, mo add to ni siya sa project site, and usually, magbuhat ni siya o gitawag na to o video. Magbuhat na siya video at dito sa site. O niya, kuha na siya. Kanang, ang yang bana mo yung mag-video, o niya, mag-yaw-yaw siya, no? Yang i-welcome, oh, welcome everybody. I would like to introduce you. Dang-dang, no? Uh, Plumera Homes, o niya. Yang, muna, yan, mura siya nag-initiate o tripping, no? Uh, come in, and this is, this is a, this is a studio unit. This is, uh, this is 25 square meters. You have a toilet and bath. I mean, it's you talking dito, nyagikuanan kag video. Now, it has become more and more interactive. There are two things that are, that are uh, good in there. Number one, the level of confidence sa imong client is high because nakita niya ikaw, actual, not really talking. Number two, nakaroom around na siya sa lugar before siya naka to sa place, meaning nakakita siya both on say gawas o on say sulod sa property na imuhang gishoot. Number three, Naka, uh, na explain na nimo initially o kung sa ang naa sa project more or less kung magtripping man gani mo it's more of the verification purposes na lang ang iyang pagabuhaton mo nang mo suggest ko if you can have videos of yourself doing the discussion sa anak nga project okay so nya kato ang imong i-post sa Facebook page nya kato imong i-boost in order to get more interaction okay okay na, na explain naman to sa tanan okay so, mana na, dayon. Okay? So, in short, Facebook page actually is so easy. Um, it's not really that sky science or high rocketed science that uh, li analyze tanan. It's really just so easy. You just have to make a page, post, then katuna dayon boost. Ato na ta sa boosting. Now, sa boosting, I would suggest na uh, you can start with small amounts. No? You can start with small amounts. Ako, I will always suggest na if you are actually boosting mga still photos, mas ma-recommend yun gihapong kong video para sulit. Mas ma-recommend yun gihapong kong video. Because right now, mga God, people are starting to be really very interactive. Videos tend to get more attention than photos only. So, kung ma-notice ma mo na, kabantay mo, you've been really posting quite a lot already and it, it wasn't really get, getting good results. Nga naman, because... Uh, people right now really wanted to see videos. Videos good ang gusto ng tanahon sa tao. So, find a video. No, find a video. 
Uh, mintras tanto, di pa man ta makahimo o ka ng video by yourself, you can ask walkthroughs, no? Walkthrough video sa sa developer on ya as uh, suggested by Sir John na you just make some edits ngadto sa mga last portion para ma-remove tong ilahang mga contact numbers. Mora, for the meantime, no? Kay dili pa man ka makahimo og actual videos. So, but if by the time na makahimo na ka og actual video, uh, that will be best, no? In fact, um, we have Sir John Paul here, John Paul Pakibot. Na he's, he's, he's a very good videographer, no? In fact, I would I would like to invite you if you can like uh, his Facebook, uh, no, his Facebook account or page. Uh, there you can see a lot of music video dito na iyang gina gina buhat, no? Daghang music videos dito with with a lot of beautiful ladies actually, no? So, karon ang ang Facebook page can only be interactive in nature if you are intending it to be interactive. Kung imo gitsa gusto na imong interactive. So malang to no, uh, minimum budget for Facebook page is actually 40 pe 40 pesos a day. Mao gyud na say minimum budget for Facebook page. So I think dili naman kayo na sa dako ng uh, 40 pesos that will actually be able to go a lot naman gyud na ng 40 pesos labi na og video, labi na video. No, um, kini si Maribeth Marangga na man ni siya diri. Tig, kuhan man ni sila, tig Facebook, uh, boost man ni sila. That's the reason why they get a lot of good sales, no? no si Maribeth, na man, na man si Maribeth diri. So, si Maribeth, tig Facebook, kuhan ni siya, tig Facebook ads ni siya. Yeah. Tig, kuhan po ni siya, tig Facebook video. Video gini siya. Mga na siya project site na video. So, every every month, kini si Maribeth Marangga, Dili Junisha zero in terms of sales. No, I I vouch for you with that. So videos, no, make make videos. Okay. So if ever you are interested, really, kung nana kay Facebook page, nya interested ka magboost, nya medyo malibog ka, ah, you contact me, then we can do a one-on-one tutorial dere sa koan sa kining sa Zoom, no. Ah, it's just lang karon dili kay ko ka browse because my Internet at home is hinay, no? Kaya ba't ka mulag? Mulag siya. So, I have a very low internet connection uh, right at this moment. Okay? Yeah. Make your make your page interactive, no? Uh, look at my personal page. My personal page right now already has 6,065 people uh, have liked this, na no? 6,065. So, nanay, nanay mga 6,065 people who are able to interact with my Facebook page already. So... Kuan again no it's how you make the content no it's how you make the content it's how you post yeah be consistent be consistent ayaw bita ng on and off when you do a nurture your page please do it regularly kanang regular ang posting ba so that the community na nag keep in touch nimo pero may bitaw kang makita sa ilahang news feed ang problema ngon nato na atinuod tay ani nga mga tools facebook page facebook account facebook groups pero ang problem is that we are not engaging our audience Kana bitong now you see now you don't ka sa Facebook you will not be able to build an audience believe me dili ka ka build og audience if you are a now you see now you don't type of person if you want to be noticed here in Facebook if you want to be noticed by your client you've got to be there every day as in every day remember guys ba Facebook is a community komunidad na siya pareha ra na duna kay duna kay hardware sa imong barangay para ma, para mailhan ang imong hardware sa tibuok imong barangay imong ablihan ang imong tindahan kada adlaw ug imong ipanabi sa imong mga kasilinganan na huy silingan na akoy hardware diha ngano man para ang ha, ang mga tao sa imong barangay adto mamalit sa imong hardware maorasad ni ang Facebook ang Facebook usa sa ka barangay na kinahanglan ingno nimo ang mga tao na nadiya sa sulod na huy na ako diri na maligya ko og balay pangutan ako So, unsa o Manila pagpangutana nimo kung ikaw on and off ang imuhang presence diri sa social media. You've got to be there. It is our it is our community. It is where we In short, it is where we live right now. It is where we stay right now and it is where we are actually doing business. So, you get inside the social media, you live there and make yourself and your presence be counted in there. Kinahanglan ma-feel nila ang imuhang presence diha sa imuhang social media account. That is the reason why, if you get to notice me, I do some videos diha sa Facebook. I make it as, as active as I can. Why? Because that is our community. 
that is our business area. Kung logically ba, kung, kung nag, nagtukod kang tindahan, imong ingon na naon, na dapat ma-feel imuhang presence. So karon I hope after taan eh, no dito sa ato ang dito sa mga group chat um Novelin is so active in posting dito ron sa mga mga project no daghan man kayto gi-post si Novelin pero I haven't seen any anybody posting actually no so daghan kayto gi-post si Novelin I would suggest you start posting those information because um kanang I, I texted actually the PMOs if they could post some some patterns ba na unsa i-post ngadto sa Facebook so moto naghimo sila and and hopefully you got to copy those no copy and paste man this is a copy and paste business but dili naman sa pwedeng ako pay mo copy og paste para nimo you got to do it yourself no you got to do it yourself bottom line at the end of the day it's not a question of how good you are no a lot of people are not they, they still doesn't able to accomplish anything our character will always define us all of this of all of these skills that we're trying to learn this is 1% only uh, this is uh, this is not my basis for success actually no remember i am a bs biology graduate i am not a techie person i am not even inclined to what you call cook. i pag graduate na ko wala pa gani computer typewriter pa can you just imagine but it was that wasn't the issue the issue there is actually diligence no look at mam wilma mam wilma is here no mam wilma is already 62 63 years old technically not a, not a techy savvy person not really inclined to um, uh, internet but when she joined with us she embraced the the challenges with internet no aside from learning how to use facebook invested on property 24 but you know what since the time that he joined with us last year, last November 2019, up to today, she roughly made a sale already of around close to 50 million. And that's not bad for a 63-year-old young lady, no? That's not bad for a 63-year-old now who doesn't know anything about Facebook and who doesn't know anything about, about Lamudi or Property24. So meaning, it's all about attitude. It's all about character. I, I, I'm, I'm not good at skills. But these are just only basic skills that you can actually explore all by yourself, all by your own. But character, it is something that it's hard to develop. That is, that is really actually driven. That is actually driven by how you were raised up in the family. No, I, I am raised up. I am raised up by parents that are so tough. It was based on whatever challenges that are there. That's how we are not to accept status quo. We are raised up na to face challenges, pass it. Just like just like you and me. No, there's no difference at all. No, there's no difference at all. We we we, we did not we did not came from 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 a well-off family. We are just an ordinary family when when my parents started, but it's all here in the mind. It's all here in the mind. No, that's all here in the mind. So, if anybody of you wanted to really explore more about Facebook ads and you wanted na mag, mag FB advertising ka, now after after finishing your koan ka ng setup of your ka ng Facebook page, you can chat me, you can text me, then you we, we will do a one on one tutorial so that I can guide you with your Facebook ads. Ang importante lang din sa Facebook ads ni bayad nimo na do na lang kay debit card. Kana lang. No, debit card you can use actually any cards na naay uh, Visa or Mastercard, no? Any cards na naay Visa or Mastercard will do as a form of your payment. So, na na may daghan ron, na GCash, na PayMaya, what else? And all other banks. All other banks actually na na siya Visa or Mastercard na logo. Then that's where you put your money and that's where Facebook will going to deduct or de debit any form of uh, kanang payments. So, kana lang, no? Um, it's, uh, it's almost four and uh, I hope na we, we are able to learn something today. I know it, this is not much, 
but uh, it will be more than enough for us to really start uh, from time to time um, uh, wala na lang kay ko mo present atong how to make a facebook page because i know you know it already this is more of telling you the fundamentals of we really have to start doing it already murag kinahanglan na nato sugdan ba and we we've, we've been listening to to these lessons over and over again but the only thing that is left for us is just simply to do it we've got to do it now there is already some post in your messenger please grab those posts you can actually repost it in your own facebook pages facebook account facebook groups and if you have some instagram you can also do it there now let's start flooding the social media channel with uh with real estate uh posting you know that we can sige lang tag post of covid so karon pulo ato na sa butangan og lain no okay so is there any any question that you would like today today uh, at least if you question it's okay at least can help can help me answer it any question dunay dunay na question Ana para makita ta, no? Is there anybody na nay question? Actually, you you it's, it's we are joined here actually. Uh na sa inyong screen na si Sir John Paul Pakibot. Si si Sir John is actually uh an expert here on on Facebook marketing. No, he've done a lot of uh Facebook ads and as, at the same time uh siya ni akong gigon ninyo na are making music videos no she is is making music videos and if basic na ay mga uh, technical questions na dili na kayo na ko ma address i think si sir jan ar man po dire if na may question so na may question any question uh na si maribet no na appreciate na ko ang record sir jan sa mga pks sa webinar kay pwede ra ma review yes Yes, we really appreciate, no? We really appreciate it. By the way, ang record sa mga PKS, you can share that to your agents. To your, kung ba? Kanang, sani? Kanang mga downlines. You share it, katong mga wala bitaw maka-attend, you share it. Because uh, it is important for us that information are really uh, passed on from from us to others. No, It's all about passing on information, man. So thank you kayo, Sir John, ha? Thank you kayo sa... Mga recorded video, Sir John. So, you just copy the link and share. Sayon na mga share. Thank you kay Sir, ha? Thank you kay Sir. Amo ni si Sir John, ang ato ang koan. Artistahin ni si Sir. Daghan ni siyang music video. So, na may question. Na may question, di ha? Na at least na si Sir John, di rin makatubag. Kung gusto mo mo apply niya ang artista sa music video, pwede ra. Uh, uh, para ma-feature mo dito sa iyang mga video. Ang ganito ni Annie, one time basta wala na ni coronavirus, mag-artista ko ni iyang music video. <laughs> Any question? So I guess wala na, no? Uh, it's already almost 4 o'clock. สวัสดีครับคุณมาที่นี่ฮะพูดมาเนี่ยฮะพูดมาเนี่ยฮะพูดมาเนี่ยฮะพูดมาเนี่ยฮะพูดมาเนี่ยฮะพูดมาเนี
Now, mastermind is a very different class. It's um, gamay lang ang nanga nakasuway o attend sa ako ang mastermind class. But if there are more agents that you can gather tomorrow for the mastermind class, it would really be best. Please um, <coughs> encourage everyone to join with us in the master class session tomorrow. And prior, before ta mag start, I think Bria, Bria Holmes Dumagetti, kawa man sila ka join nato at on Tuesday, Bria Holmes Dumagetti will be joining with us uh, tomorrow, no, at two o'clock. So uh, we start. We will start on time. Kumantay mo inig alas gus mo tukar na dayon ng ato ang ato ang video. Okay. We want to develop a culture na at 2 p.m. We start na yung daga ng ato ang kuan mga presentations. Okay? So, thank you. Stay safe, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yes, sir. Bye-bye. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Thank you, sir, Joff. Thank Bye. you. Bye-bye.